Are you thinking of moving to Windsor, Colorado, but you don't want to be stuck in a bad neighborhood? You want the best neighborhoods that Windsor has to offer. If that's you, keep watching. I'm going to talk about some of the best neighborhoods in Windsor, Colorado. Hi, my name is Jamie Eklund and I'm a realtor here in the beautiful state of Colorado. If you are thinking of moving to Colorado, but you're curious about what Colorado is like, then subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification to be notified next time I post a video, and go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Now, I get calls from people all the time asking me what life is like here in Colorado. I love helping people make such a big decision. If that's you, give me a call. I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to help you make the decision whether you should or maybe should not move to Colorado. Now today we are going to be looking at some of the most popular neighborhoods in Windsor, Colorado. And I'm going to leave my favorite neighborhood for the end. So you want to watch all the way through. Now to start things off, we are going to look at a really, really nice neighborhood and that is going to be River West. Now River West, as the name denotes, is on the west side of Windsor. And if you're working in Fort Collins or Loveland or even Greeley, it's a quick drive. You have major intersections that you can access really quickly over there. So it's, it's easy to commute from here. You're kind of right in the corner of all of these uh, bigger cities. But the thing I like about uh, River West, it's just, it's a very well established neighborhood, but it's not old. It started about 02 and they just just start or just finished uh, a lot of the construction up, but there's still some really mature trees, mature landscaping. It's just a very gorgeous place to live. You can have some very uh, amazing views of the mountains. Now to live over here, it's not cheap. Now, most of the, the starter homes over in this area, they're going to be right around the 650 mark to, to 750 mark, um, but those are hard to find. Most of the properties are going to be over 800,000 and they're going to push over to uh, over a million on some of the really, really nice properties. So it is a very nice place to live, a beautiful neighborhood. A lot of people really love it and it's on the west side, so it's easy access to some of the other places as well if that's where you work. Now, another extremely popular neighborhood in Windsor is the Water Valley neighborhood. Now, this neighborhood is tucked in the middle of Windsor. It's got lakes that back into the neighborhood and a bunch of beach on those lakes and a bunch of fun activities around there. They've got golf course and a lot of different things. So you can go out to eat easily. A lot of people have golf carts that they drive around and it's just a fun community to be a part of. And a lot of people want to live in Windsor just because of this neighborhood. And so it's one of the most popular ones to move into. Now prices here, you're looking at 650 all the way up to a couple million. So they're not cheap. It does have an HOA and it depends on what property you live in will depend on the cost because it does have a lot of townhomes, a lot of condos um, that have monthly HOAs because they take care of a lot of the grounds and stuff like that. So there's lots of different options in this neighborhood. It's a fairly good sized neighborhood. You're not gonna get um, near the mountain views, but you could get a nice lake view or be close to uh, the beach or Colorado beach as it is. But it's a great place to live. A lot of people really want to live in this area. So if you're thinking of moving to Windsor, you may wanna check out Water Valley and see if that's the place you wanna be. Now I said I was going to leave my favorite neighborhood to the end. And one of my favorite neighborhoods in Windsor is the Hilltop neighborhood. Now this neighborhood from a population perspective is pretty small, but most of the lots up there are around three acres. So you have a little bit of elbow room and that fits me, I'm a country guy. I kind of like the feeling of that. That being said, it does have an HOA. And so even though you have acreage, your neighbors aren't going to have, you know, a thousand cars parked on their three acres. They are still gonna regulate some of that. And it is a very well cared for area. And as the name denotes, it's kind of on the hilltop above Windsor. And so you kind of look down 
It has some gorgeous views. Some of those houses are just gorgeous views of the Windsor area, or you can even on the backside have some gorgeous views of the mountains. Now to live in this area is not cheap. You're gonna be looking well over a million and sometimes two or three million for some of these houses. So it is a very expensive place to live, but it is a gorgeous neighborhood. So if that's the price point you're in and you want a little elbow room and maybe a shop to have some cars and maybe collectibles or to park your RV on the property, this may be the neighborhood for you. Now, Windsor has tons of neighborhoods, beautiful neighborhoods and lots of different things to choose from. If you are considering moving to Windsor, give me a call. I'd love to talk to you and I'd love to help you navigate which neighborhoods would best fit your lifestyle. And I'd also encourage you, I'm putting a relocation guide down in the description. Go ahead and download that guide. It's going to help give you information on what life is like here in Colorado so that you can make the best decision possible.